Goalies are absolutely crazy. I'm sure you've heard the stereotype that to be an ice hockey goalie, you have to be somewhat insane. After all, you are willingly deciding to stand in front of a frozen piece of rubber being shot sometimes at 100 plus miles an hour. But goalies back in the day didn't even play with masks. In this video, we'll take a journey through time and examine the evolution of the goalie mask from its early days to the present day. The story of the goalie mask begins in the early 1900s when hockey players had no protection for their face or head. Goalies were particularly vulnerable to serious injuries as they had to stop the puck with their body and sometimes their face. Elizabeth Graham is credited with being the first goalie to wear a mask in a game where she wore a wire fencing mask in a hockey game for Queen's University. In men's hockey, Clint Benedict began wearing a leather mask to guard his face to protect a broken nose in the early 1930s, but stopped wearing it as it obstructed his vision. In 1959, Montreal Canadiens goalie Jacques Plante became the first NHL goalie to wear a mask in game. This decision came after Plante was hit in the face with a puck during the game, which caused him to receive seven stitches. After Plante wore his mask, other goalies began to adopt the idea of wearing masks to protect their faces. These early masks were not very effective, as they were made of fiberglass or plastic and did not cover the entire face. Goldies still faced the risk of serious injuries, and some even suffered from broken noses and facial lacerations. In the 1970s, goalie masks began to evolve into more protective pieces of equipment. Masks were designed with more padding and coverage, and they were made from stronger materials like fiberglass and carbon fiber. This made the masks more effective at protecting the goalies from serious head injuries. The masks also became more customizable, with goalies adding their team logos, designs, and personal touches to their masks. In the 1990s and 2000s, goalie masks became even more advanced. Companies like Bauer, CCM, and Vaughn began producing masks with even more protection, including cages that covered the entire face. These masks also became lighter, which made it easier for goalies to move around when on the ice. Today, goalie masks are more than just protective. They have become iconic symbols of hockey goalies' identity and style. Many goalies design their own masks, adding unique designs and graphics that reflect their personality and team spirit. Goalies like Martin Brodeur, Henrik Lundqvist, and Carey Price are known for their distinctive masks. But Florida goaltender Spencer Knight recently released on social media one of the coolest things I've ever seen a goalie do with their mask. Knight's latest mask featured drawings done by patients at a Florida Children's Hospital, where he went and drew pictures with them for the day. This showed amazing involvement within the community from Knight, and is one of the purest things a player has contributed towards the NHL's brand and legacy over its entire history. The NHL's goalie mask has come a long way since Jacques Plante wore it first in 1959. From basic protection to customizable and iconic style, the goalie mask has become an essential piece of equipment for every goalie. It's amazing to see how the hockey goalie mask has evolved over the years, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this iconic piece of equipment. So if you made it to the end, show your support down below with a like and subscription. And also, let me know which goalie mask is your favorite all time, and if you think the goalie mask technologies will continue to improve further, or if they'll stay the same in the comments below.